TransformersMatrix.com Video Review <laughs> What up Transformer fans? This is Sean Long of the Transformers Matrix bringing another Transformers Revenge of the Fallen review this time of the Transformers 2 Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Demolisher Now here you can see he's in the package very nice packaging. I like that the Septicon logo right there and it says the Mosher. He has a very bone crusher head. It's like Cybertronic um, Japanese type symbol. It says Voyager Cloud. Here's the story of the Mosher. The Mosher isn't very bright, but he knows when to fight. <laughs> that rhymes. And when to run and hide. Arriving on Earth to find Megatron destroyed, hiding in the scene to be the best option. Since then, he's taken very few smaller Decepticons, I hmm, wonder what their name is, under his protection, but quite a little community. It hasn't been easy hiding among the humans that creep like a disease over this planet. But he and his companions are content to wait until a new Decepticon leader emerges, guide them back to glory. And look, he has 10 straight and endurance. Speed's not in skill, not that much. Very nice picture of his robot mode with spinning gears. Um, and working shovel. So here we got the Molishore in his excavator or steam shovel mode. You can see the Septicon symbol right there and he has little pinkish purple translucent windows with a nice little ladder and the tre treads and like the rubbery plastic very uh, nice and very nice detail all around in this mode. I, I just really like it a lot. Like this steam shovel part has a very dirty look. It's very nice. I, I just I just really like it and, and like the insides of the gears. The shovel itself is uh, articulated three points at that point right here, this point right here which you can go up and down and you can see it spins right there, the little gears, and then that point right there which it goes up. And now we found a good use for uh, Universe Galvatron. Time to take out the trash. The size comparison with uh, Movie Voyager Starscream, you can see that he is a little taller. Side by side, you see Starscream's a little longer, but you know he's a good uh, Voyager size. So to transform him back into robot mode, what I want to do first is you want to take these pieces right here at the bottom, extend them out like that, so it's uh, his threads are face out like that. And what I do is I take these little side parts right here, and I bring them out like that to the front. So bring them out to the front like that. There you go. And now what you're going to do is going to split the little, yeah, just like that. These will be his arms. So hopefully you just get that. So what you want to do now, what I do, is I take this piece back here and I fold that in, fold that down. Then you want to move these pieces back here like so. Uh, real quick, this back piece, what you want to do is fold this into here, like that, to that side, so you see his head now. Now what you want to do with these little things right here, you want to fold these into the side, because you're going to be facing the treads here, so you're going to bring them out here, so do that. So, so this part, you want to rotate this out like that, and then rotate this out like that, and then this will connect into this tab right here. And for these tr treads, you want to make sure to push them in like that to collapse them so they become circles. And this part will fold into here like that. And you want to do the same thing for this side. So you want to make sure that the wheel is facing out this way. Fold this out, collapse the wheel. There you go. Make sure to peg it in here. For the arms, you want to make sure that they're folded down like that. And then you can position them the way you want. So have this rotated. Take this out like that. Put them in. And then for these pieces right here, what you want to do is it's pretty cool. You what you do is you rotate this 180 degrees. Rotate that 180 degrees. So now you have these little spinning parts facing. Then you just have these parts right here. You just fold and to give him a cross section right there. There you got Voyager Demolisher back in his robot mode. Movie trailer recreation. Get off of my face, I just got my eyebrows waxed. 
The amount of detail on this figure is very nice. I like his head sculpt a lot. He also has light piping, as you can tell here. It's very orange eyes. He has a very bone crusher esque head. He has rubbery plastic threads on there. He has really nice, he has uh, silver uh, on him and some really nice uh, silver spinning gears, which I'll show in a bit. Um, just very nice uh, detail on the paint. Gives him a really dirty look. I, I really like the detail on these new movie figures. For articulation, the monster's head, um, personally you can't move unless you can't like moving this part around which moves his arms, so his head can't really move. His uh, treads, um, which are kind of like his legs, they do rotate 360 degrees, which is really cool. Uh, his arms do rotate 360 degrees and very ratchet joints. They do go in and out like that. They bend at three points down here, so he bend, rotate, uh, bend at this point down here, as well as bend at uh, this point which is like his elbow and then um, at the wrist section I guess that's what it would be called Demolish or hungry where's my pizza I'm talking to you Rimfire Size comparison time so here you can see Revenge of Fallen movie Voyager Demolisher is if you count his wheel is taller than movie Voyager um, Starscream uh, from the first one and taller than animated Voyager Starscream Demolisher is a really, really great figure. I just like how different he is from other robots. Like, it has a very uh, Beast Machines Thrust type of robot mode, and I just really like him. He's he's really fun, yeah, and like, he has problems standing, but his that's what his arms are for. And he looks very menacing and cool, and he's fun to transform. He's not too hard, not too easy. He's, he's really great. I totally recommend him. And it'll be great to, um, to see uh, him and his uh, fellow Constructicon brothers and just uh, really recreate, recreate scenes from the upcoming movie. So I totally recommend him. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Stay tuned for more Revenge of the Fallen reviews as well as other toy reviews. Subscribe to my channel if you like. And this is Sean Long. Oh no. <laughs>